When I use chicken for raw diet, there's only two cuts that I use, and that's backs or I use leg quarters. And the reason why I don't use like thighs, there's not enough calcium in it. I've found that if you give thighs, there's not enough calcium in it, your, your dog's going to have like not solid stools. And the other thing is you want to make sure and have enough calcium in it because you have to worry about the calcium phosphorus level. So I find that backs and, and uh, leg quarters, that's usually what people use, are very appropriate. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to use a leg quarter and I'm going to show you what size for like a small to medium sized dog. Here's a chicken leg quarter. It's not a giant one. Some of them are real big. And remember, you overfeed the dog, so don't do that. So for like my chihuahua, I'd probably, mango's about a seven pound dog. I'd probably just cut off this section here, right? And then that would be it. Now for like a 15 pound dog, here, this is in relationship to my hands so that you can see what we're looking at here. So for about a 15, God, my fingers are filthy. I've been making art. Um, it's about three fingers for a, about a, a 10 to 15 pound dog, about two fingers for a smaller dog. It's all approximate. And what, what I do here is I just take the, uh, take a knife and that's, that's about, that's about it. Now, um, so that this is going for the a puppy's going to eat this. Now remember that the mother would have taken the prey animal, chewed it up, so mastication would have happened so that the puppy might still chew it, but it's pretty much pre-digested because it's been chewed and it's also been in the mother's stomach. So keep that in mind. Don't give your dog like I've known people that are given 8-week-old puppies like raw chicken without don't do that. You know, I, you know, watch some more videos and, and find out. Don't just think, oh, we give the dog raw chicken. Not if it's a puppy. You got to smash it up. And that's what I want to talk about, too, is that if you have a puppy and they have milk teeth, you have to either grind the food or you have to, you have to smash it. Or in this case, what I do is I just take a knife. all broken up real nice and this is for uh, a dog that's over four months so that'd probably do it and he can finish it up from there all right make sure and do this and if you just see this one video please watch more videos than one if you're going to start giving a raw diet and don't ask me questions about raw diet until you've done some research you know don't, don't, don't bother me, in other words. The information's out there. You just have to search my channel to find it. Now, we're not done here. Now, we want to give a little bit of fiber to the dog, right? So, a lot of times we use spinach, cooked spinach, because remember, if a, a wolf was eating a prey animal, it would be eating the whole animal, and it would eat whatever contents were in that, like, rat stomach, a rabbit's stomach. Do you see what I'm saying? So there'd be some fiber in there. Spinach works great, but for convenience sake, I'll use a little bit of oats. Now this would be typical quick oats. It cooks in one minute. You know, this is essentially cooked. It just has to be hydrated. So we use a very small amount. So let me show you how much we're gonna use. Now this is for the puppy, and I have about that much in my hand. We're talking about maybe a tablespoon, and you just need to sprinkle it on the chicken, right? You can do both sides. You can coat both sides, right? And that, that's probably it. We'll give them a little bit more, but that's it. Don't overdo, don't overdo it on oats. You know, there's a lot of carbs in oats, oats. And remember, your dog needs zero carbs. If you're going to a vet that's telling you that your dog needs carbs, Go to another one and she should probably go back to vet school because she missed out on something very important. The dog is a carnivore. So they need some fiber. They need some, you could give a couple of blueberries. It's not a half a cup. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not a lot of, think about this. If your dog, you have a 70 pound dog and your dog would like for dinner, eat a small rabbit. How much 
of the stomach contents of that rab, you know, how much is in there? How much fiber is in there? Not a whole lot. So you want to you want to keep the fiber profile real low. You want to keep the carbs real low. Carbs are not and carbs are important for a human. Remember, the dog gets its bulk of its energy from proteins and fats. And always remember, if you're going to use like ground beef, ground turkey, something like that. This is where a, a lot of people make a, a big mistake. I, I talk about, yeah, you can give your dog, you know, meat from the grocery store. And I, I tell them and they don't hear this. So listen up. If you're going to use hamburger or ground chicken, ground turkey, you have to add calcium. Did you hear me? If you're going to give your dog a steak, you have to add calcium and never give your dog cooked bone of any kind. And if you're gonna buy calcium and add calcium, use either bone meal or go to the pharmacy. You can use human grade calcium, but make sure it doesn't have D3 in it. D3 is not water soluble, okay? So it'll store up in your dog and that's not good.